All right, so I'll start off with the deck profile. So the new card that we're looking at is going to be White Baking, but we'll start off with sort of the boss monster of the deck. The reason why we play it, it's King of the Skull Servants. It gains attack for, uh, a thousand attack for each King of the Skull Servants and Skull Servant in your grave. Um, and when it's destroyed by battle and sent to the grave, you can banish another King of the Skull Servant, or so, Skull Servant from your grave and special summon itself. So obviously we're not just going to have it on 3000 with the vanillas all of the other guys all have the effect that when it's in the grave its name becomes skull servant so the real aim of this is to just turbo guys into the grave summon out our king of the skull servants and then smack for game um so everything in here is to enable an otk um next up we've got the lady in white so she is there for the vast majority of it is just to be a name to send uh, so her effect is a protection effect for level 3 or lower zombies. They can't be destroyed by battle or and they're unaffected by spell trap cards. Except herself. Um, so it is designed to protect your king. But we're not really using it for that. That It's more to send off of the uh, white prince. Next up we have the white baking. This is the new card in Blazing Vortex. It's amazing. So it becomes Skull Servant on the Grave, and if a level 3 or lower, so a monster you control will be destroyed by Battle of Card Effect, you can discard this card instead. That's the useless bit of it. I, that uh, that protection effect just never comes up, because I'm just always trying to get him in Grave as quick as I can, because his other effect, if it's sent to Grave, you can add two monsters with different names from your deck to your hand, except itself, that are either Skull Servant or specifically list Skull Servant in their text, then discard a card. So... This adds any of your Skull Servant cards. Typically, I'll be adding a White Mare and a White Prince. Uh, so we'll move on to them next. So White Mare is our way to recur, really. So uh, gains the name well in Grave, and you can either target one of your banished Skull Servants or White Mares and return it to the Grave. So that's your way of just, when you're banishing your guys, that's putting them back in Grave so that you can get the... Uh, attack boost and also attack one of your banished Lady in White or King Skull Servant and special summon it. Most of the time I'll be going for the King of the Skull Servants, just getting another one on board. Uh, so to banish them we'll be using White Prince. This is the best card in the deck um, and White Baking helps enable this. So White Baking is the only one with a once per turn effect. The 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 White Prince, uh, the White Mare is not once per turn. The White Prince isn't once per turn. So it has three effects. So its name copies Skull Servant. Um, if it's sent to the grave, such as being discarded off White Baking, you can send a Skull Servant, which is the original one. It has to be the original one. Uh, and a Lady in White from your hand and or deck to the grave. Um, which is just amazing. It's not once per turn. Discard it off White Baking, get get itself two more names that means that your white baking just by discarding it gets you you know you could have a king of the skull servants normal summon or the white mare and then you've got three other names in grave you've got four guys in grave uh, straight away and the other effect is you can banish two other skull servants and itself from the grave especially on one king of the skull servants from your deck um so this is just your way of getting them out from the deck it's nuts it's is so good. Um, then we've got the vanilla skull servant. Um, that's in there just as a name to send off the white prince. The other one that I've not currently got here is the white princess. Um, so her effect is that she can uh, send a white prince from deck to grave when it's normal special summoned. During either player's turn, you can send it from hand of field to grave. All monsters currently on the field as attack and defense, you can take it to their own level or rank times 300. I find it's less relevant. It's also a light, which um, I don't know why they made that a light, but it doesn't synergize as well with the deck. So I've left that out and opted um, to go for something like the Gozuki, which you also get the foolish effect, but you can also send a Mizuki. And also, when it's sent to the grave, you can banish them. Zombie monster to special summon a zombie monster from your hand. Uh, next up, we have Uni Zombie, just the best zombie card. Um, Mizuki, just reborn for anything you want. Already been over uh, Gozuki. Plague Spreader, it helps with the Hulk combos, helps you build up into something big like an access to clear field. Um, then I've got a 
danger engine is quite a big danger engine because we really need to turbo through it and it gets us to discard things a lot of the time cards are dead in your hand and it's really uh, awkward uh, next up is the doomsday horror so this is for the union carrier so um, what you're really aiming to do is banish all your guys make union carrier equip this to one of your guys remove the equipped monster from the field by game mechanics this is destroyed you then get to put everything back into the grave um, so that's just a really good way of recurring every dark monster so it doesn't get you back your mizukis but so well uh, then we've got lures just for draw power we've got one barrel from a different dimension just to put guys back in a uh, graveyard um, two DDRs discard out and it gets your banished guys back both are good so it's burial uh, for pin droplets it's another way to get cards out of your hand and we want to go second with this so this is just a really impactful going second card uh, same with lightning storm um, so the first few games I played with this I had this in the side then I decided to main it because it was just I, I was saying it in every single game so I was like I may as well just main this um, now we've got the one for one because we're playing a lot of level ones same for the where off there that just searches us um, you know apart from the lady in white it searches any of the the, the good white mares uh, the whites or the skull servants uh, then on to the extra deck so the main cards that you'll be making will be the link rebo and the anima because they require level one um, they get your white prints off the field the anima can be really useful applies a lot of pressure um, our link twos we've got the pentastag to add piercing underclock to reduce something um, which can just help push that extra damage for the OTK. Union Carrier, like I said, it's to equip the Umbral Horror, but it can be used for any number of things. You can attach white baking or prints just to get um, them in grave. Uh, we've got the, the Phoenix and the Unicorn. Uh, both are really good. The Curious doesn't come up that much, but it's nice to have. The, we don't really use the extra deck that often, mainly because we're pushing for the OTK with the King. Then we've got the Hulk Fibrex, That's, um, that helps you just get something out from deck. Uh, you can go something like um, Uni Zombie and something into the Hulk, Hulk some of the Plague, uh, Plague and Hulk into the Unicorn, and then bring back the Plague, make the uh, access code on 5-3. Um, you know, it's just to help get into that, really. Uh, Barricade Borg, it's just a discard outlet. Uh, a Vendred Savior, I've never I've never needed this, I'll be honest. Um this um and the Levier, I just never need. Um so I could easily swap them out for anything else. There's nothing that I really felt like I've needed. Um so they they've stayed in there, but if anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. Uh, then we've got the access code, it's just access, you know, that's it. Um Chaos Ruler, I have used this a couple of times. Uh, just to either get that damage, um, just as a big 3k body, uh, it can send things to grave. You know, it managed to put a prince or a Mizuki for me in the grave, and then Savage. You're supposed to be able to make this going first, but no one has ever made me go first. Um, every single person has made me go second, and every time I've won the rock paper scissors, I've gone second. So that's deck list. We'll jump into some replays now. So this was a game against uh, Trap Trick, so they're going first obviously, so they've opened the Ash, Floodgate, um, Mermelio, uh, Mantis and the Compulse. Uh, we've opened the Mizuki Allure, Doomsday Horror, I think I called that Umbral Horror, um, White Mare and Dangerous Shinoko. Um, so yeah, they do the regular Trap, thi trap Trick things. Um, so this was the list before I was maining the Lightning Storms. Um, yeah, so I banished the horror mainly because I don't think I'm going to be able to make it this time. Get rid of the plague again. I don't think I'm going to make use of it. I kept both droplets um, because if I hit one off of the danger, then I'll still have one to go for the uh, Sarah. So we get the draw. It's Uni Zombie. So they decide to floodgate that. Uh, they go for the Sarah, and I chain that. Gets the Suchinol quite at my hand, um, which isn't uh, tremendously useful. Oh, I thought it was bottomless, not floodgate first. Um, I don't really play against trap tricks that often. Um, so we get rid of the Sarah, set the, the other one, and then pass. 
Uh, da, 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 da. They then bring that back, go into another Sarah, activate the compulse. I decided I want to stop the Sarah, so I just send the uni zombie. I've got the Mizuki in grave, so I should be fine. They then make the Cerberus um, to get rid of the Mothman, just for damage. I think that was very greedy. Um, I think they should have kept their trap tricks on board. So we get ashed, um, but we have the Mizuki uni zombie, so. Um, we send the white baking, add the king because we've not normal summoned and we already had the white mare. Um, so then Prince sends those two. We normal summon the the king. Um, we attack for 4k uh, with with that. Um, I then make the link rebo because I'm thinking if I can protect the uni zombie then I can just uh, send another white baking. Um, or send a Mizuki, whatever I needed. Um, so then, normal summon the Mermelio um, to grab the Floodgate. The, so that's me. I just tribute the Link Rebo. So I know I've got, I know I've got two sets, and one of them is the Floodgate Trap Hole, and they have the Sarah this time. Um, so Barrow from different dimensions, a really good draw here. Um, so we send the white baking, get the white baking effect. So we can just normal summon the King of the Skull Servants now. Uh, because we've still got that white mare in hand, um, and now it will be on uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9k. So, uh, yeah, if they didn't have the floodgate here, that would have just been game, so they have to do it. Sarah gets its effects, um, and then Dionia, uh, they get the effect of that, which will also trigger the Sarah. But I, I'm figuring I'm going for a game here, so I'd, I'm not really concerned about either of them. It's just this that I'm concerned about. So by banishing the King of the Skull Servants um, with the Prince, it means I can White Mare it, which is very useful. Um, but then we get Torrential, which is fine, because we have the White Mare. Um, but I also had the Burial, so I could just put back the prince and then uh and the mizuki so then mizuki or the prince could just bring out another one so i've got game in so many different ways right now um so that was really the only interesting part of that game we'll move on to the next one now okay so now we're up against heroes uh so this isn't your typical heroes build it seems to be more focused on d heroes um he's he is playing d draw and things like the um the draw hand and the drill dark um so we'll just fast forward through his turns so we've opened the jackalope the white baking the allure of darkness the and droplets so i feel i feel pretty pretty fine here because we've got the droplets heroes really the only issue that they set up is the plasma um and he might have had a dystopia with a pop uh but we've got the droplets anyway so we're, we're feeling pretty cool uh he is he has got the super poly, which I didn't know about, so... Um, but we've got a really good hand. We already had a white baking, so I didn't feel the need to have two. Um, he, oh, he wanted to draw a hand during a standby phase. That was it. Um, which is fine me, because I get an extra draw, and I feel like I'm just going to OTK through it anyway. So we normal summon the King of the Skull Servants uh, to wear off, though. A prince. Um, then... So I was also wanting to see with the Wear Arthur though if he had the Dark Claw, so that would have hopefully forced it out. Um, but I, I figure he's not got the mass change for the Dark Claw because otherwise he would have done it on the search. Um, so I feel like I'm okay to uh, Droplets now with the uh, Baking and the Mizuki, which are the two I really want in Grave. Um, I, I figured I'd just keep these to try and get, get off of the dangers. Uh, oh, he thought they uh, they got destroyed, so I was just correcting him there. So we search the prince and another white mare, uh, and then discard one of the princes just to get that engraved. Um, so this is now on one, two, three, four k. Uh, we then go for the danger effect. Uh, hits the jackalope. Jackalope will summon. Um, so we've got the Mothman now. We then go for the uh, Phoenix 
this is it helps me describe the prints and just to know what it is. Um, you don't know what people are playing. It could be a mirror force or magic. Uh, what was it? The cylinder card. I can't remember the name. It's been so long since I've seen it. Um, but he does. Um, did he send something from his side of the field? Uh, oh yeah, it was the malicious. Um, so we banished to get some of the king. Discard white mare to summon the king. Uh, they're both on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6k. We've also got the Mizuki engrave. Um, but it shouldn't be necessary because these are, these are both halved. Um, so that's... Uh, yeah, I was, I was explaining to him that it got halved when he was on 32. Um, but I don't know what this... this guy was doing uh, so we attacked this just to force out the dreamer because um, for some reason he, he did it on that so he thought for some reason that the Dana tag was a quick effect and I was explaining to him that it really wasn't a quick effect so he, that was him scooping um, so that's just another way of showing how can swarm the board. I had, I still had the Mizuki, so I could have kept going, uh, but I didn't really need to. So we we ended up going up against uh, Trap Tricks again, um, and still going second. Uh, I don't think I've ever been first with this deck. It's playing the Harpy's Feather Duster, which is sort of the least relevant thing in his hand. Um, everything else he just sets up, um, you know, Compulse, Floodgate, Grave Digger. Um, so we allure, uh, we set the wear off there because I do want to actually use that. Um, and then I think it's the first time since I've built this deck that I've actually gotten a Chupacabra off. Um, I was thinking I could I could swap the Levier for a, a rank 4, but I wasn't really sure what I'd want to put. Um, so we do actually get the Droplet, which is really nice. Uh, we then make the Curious because we had the three different types. And it puts the White Baking Engrave. Um, so... He negates the Grave Digger. It negates the White Baking with the Grave Digger. Um, I was explaining. He, I said Chain Link 1, Curious, Chain Link 2, uh, Baking, which is the wrong way around. I should have protected the Baking. Um, but then he thought I didn't get the Curious Mills for some reason. Um, so then, this time, I actually put the Prince second, mainly so that I did I'd still have the targets in deck to mill, uh, even though I didn't have enough to completely mill out. But also to sort of bait the Rafflesia so that I could uh, droplets. So we get the sends, then we get the mills with uh, Curious. We do actually end up hitting the Prince and another baking. Um, then we banish to summon out the uh, King from deck. So he's currently on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6k um, but he floodgates it of course he does uh, with Mizuki, the Gozuki Gozuki effect uh, the classic combo, Gozuki send Mizuki, some of the access because I think at least I can get rid of whatever the unknown back row is or the Rafflesia uh, and then he compulses it um, so it's not looking great if I'm honest, um, I get the king, I get the Gozuki because I think at least I can clear his board now. Um, so that was playing through, you know, the the grave digger, an attempted grave digger, a floodgate, and a compulsory evacuation device. Yes, the curious mills went in our favour, um, but still, I, I was I was glad I, I got to. Um, I got to play through it all with a bit of luck um, so we have the Gozuki so we can send the, the baking uh, I grabbed the Lady in White for a reason I'm trying to think what that reason was um, so we had two prints oh yeah if I'd sent the, the prints um, I, I couldn't send the Lady in White, because it has to send both. So sending a prince would would 
send one other thing. It wouldn't be able to send the other thing. So I figured I may as well just put the Lady in White engrave. Um, I could have also just put the Prince engrave. It didn't really make a difference. I was still getting the same effect either way. We then have the uh, normal summon. He has the Compulse, but it doesn't matter because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5k. Uh, yeah, so no matter what he bounced, it was going to be game, uh, exact game either way. Okay, so now we have Dragon Link. Um, so I used to play Dragon Link uh, before the ban list. So I didn't really know what they did. Um, they did now, so we'll just skip forward through this. It ends on a fairly standard board, but we have the droplet. The droplet is huge here. Um, I think droplet is probably the best card in the deck. I think, if anything, I'd try and trim the deck down to 40 so that I've got more chance of seeing the droplet. Having that discard outlet going second and just being able to stop the board is huge. And something like Dark Rulers, uh, you know, it doesn't work with the deck because we're not getting that. Um, we're not getting the battle phase damage. We're trying to OTK here, so Droplets is just the best card for that. Um, so he has the Heretic Seal. It has the Verte, which is going to send the Red Eyes Fusion, and he has the Borrowed Savage. Um, he does also have the Droplets and an Ash, um, but we can at least get rid of the three problems on board. Uh, so we target the... Uh, sorry, we don't target, we choose... Uh, the Seal, the Savage, and the Dragoon. Uh, and then I go for the effect of White Baking, which gets Ashed. Uh, and then Allure. Uh, Banish the Mizuki to target Baking. Uh, so all I was wanting now was to get a level 1 on board. So we can get the White Prince. Uh, we can then Normal Summon the White Prince. That goes into the Anima. Um, which I don't immediately feel the need to go for the anima effect but we, we use the print effect send the lady and the skull servant we then go to summon one from the deck uh, so we get the the king out um which is currently on 1k uh he then decides to use the seal effect um gets the brotor out brotor grabs him the levy in here uh it, I then go for anima effect. Um, really, I should have used, I, I should have shotgunned it before I put the king on field. Um, but that's when he goes for the droplets. Uh, targets the anima and the king. We then put the Mizuki, the prince, and the lady in white back. Um, so I did actually end up misplaying here. So I get the union carrier. Uh, banish Mizuki target prince. So what I did here was I declared Union Carrier and targeted Prince because I thought in the moment it didn't matter which I targeted. It did. It mattered hugely. So if I currently I have to get rid of the Prince to get his effect and at the same time I'll get the horror effect. But if I'd put it on the White Baking I could have got rid of the White Prince sent all three, banished three got another King out um, and then gotten rid of the White Baking so I would have had an extra king out for nothing. It would have cost me absolutely nothing else because we, we would have put back whatever we banished. Uh, so we get the the king out here and it's currently on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5k. Um, but yeah, we could have had two kings on 5k. Uh, we go for the underclock on the dragoons because it's negated. Uh, so Underclock will attack the Anaconda and King will attack the uh, Dragoon. Um, and he took off the wrong amount. So yeah, so that was the, the big misplay. Thankfully I didn't get punished for it. Uh, I made the Link Rebo just thinking, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll play it safe. I might be able to protect one of these other two guys. Um, what I didn't uh, remember was that he has the safer and he's, he's put the live in here in uh, discard in his grave. Um, so yeah, that's him. He grabs back the levy in the air. Uh, yeah, banishes a mix to get rid of two of my guys, and then he savage attacks, and I'm left with. Uh, ooh, I. F oh no, I think a normal summoned what I used with uh, where off there, so. 
Um, but we top decked the king um, because we're very skilled at the game. Uh, and then we just normal summon that. It's currently on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6k. It's game. Uh, and he concedes. So that's how we beat Dragon Link. Okay, and now we have Wind Witch Pure, as far as I can tell, using the uh, new support from. I think this came in Blazing Vortex. Uh, so this is actually game two after we've sided. I've sided in the Twin Twisters. Game one wasn't all that interesting. I got. Uh, he had the Crystal Wing. He had Judgment. He had Strike. He had Ash. Um, I, I just didn't get to play. So we went to game two. Um, I said you then Twin Twisters. I think that was the only thing. Just because I was uh, scared of the uh, Solemns again. So I see what I get. Um, we banish the King. Because we've got the White Mare. Uh, and then we just get rid of the back row. So I feel fairly free to go. Um, so we use the effect of White Mare to bait this. I probably should have done that before I normal summoned. But it, it negated it. That's fine. Uh, so we send the White Baking. Baking then gets us the White Mare and the Prince. And then Prince will be discarded and then affect the Prince. Uh, we then go for uh, banishing the Prince to summon out the uh, King of the Skull Servants. Uh, he then Ghost Mourner and Moonlit chills the King of the Skull Servants um, for reasons. Um, I mean, it was going to be on like 2k. It's you know it's not a threat at that point, but I guess you know you're worried what I'm going to be doing. So I used the Uni Zombie to discard the uh, Skull Servant. Um, we do have the burial, so we managed to put back the uh, everything apart from the King because we've got the White Mare. So we Mizuki for the Prince. We can then do Union Carrier. Uh, so now we actually get to use the Union Carrier play properly. So we put that on the negated one. Uh, link that away because it's currently useless. Into the Link Rebo. We then get effect of Horror and he sees the writing on the wall. We're going to swing in for big damage. Okay, so that's been the deck with some gameplay. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying the deck, playing with white baking. I think it's a really good addition to the deck. I think it helps with consistency and just upping that power output. I think it's it's by no means a meta deck. Um, it can steal wins. It'll be fun as a, a rogue option. I'm going to play it locals as a fun deck. Um, I'd like to know what you all think of the deck. Please comment below what you thought. I hope you... Uh, all like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Shh, not a zombie channel.